Timeless Concepts from Physics Helpline. This is a video tutorial series through which we will sharpen our problem solving skill. First, we will analyze the problem on hand to find the related concepts. Then using these, we will develop a method which will produce the solution. This will help the students aspiring to get into IIT to understand the much needed advanced theories and applications in physics. In this video tutorial, we will discuss a problem on the oscillations of two springs pulley block systems. The question is as follows. A massless pulley, two massless springs, each of force constant K and a block of mass M are connected in two different ways as shown in the figure. In each case, the block is pulled down by a small distance and released. Find the time period of the resulting oscillations in each case. The fundamental concepts of spring block systems are already discussed in video oscillations of spring pulley block systems where it was explained why we can ignore the initial elongation and tension in the spring without any loss of accuracy. We will use those concepts to solve the problem in this question. In the first case, when the block is pulled down by distance x, both the springs S1 and S2 undergo elongation. Let the elongation in the springs S1 and S2 be X1 and X2. Let the tension in the spring S1 is equal to T. Then the tension in the spring S2 is equal to 2T. Therefore, we have KX1 is equal to T and KX2 is equal to 2T. This gives X1 is equal to T by K and X2 is equal to 2T by K. When spring S1 expands by X1, the pulley moves down by X1 by 2. Also, spring S2 expands by X2. Therefore, block moves down by a distance X1 by 2 plus X2. Therefore, we write X is equal to X1 by 2 plus X2. Putting the values of X1 and X2, we get X is equal to T by 2K plus 2t by k, which is equal to 5t by 2k. Therefore, we have t is equal to 2kx by 5. When released, the restoring force on the block is equal to tension in the spring S2, which gives f is equal to 2t, which is equal to 4kx by 5. Therefore, acceleration of the block is a is equal to f by m, which is equal to 4kx by 5m and time period of oscillations is t is equal to 2 pi root over x by a which is equal to 2 pi root over 5m by 4k. In the second case, when the block is pulled down by x, let the elongation in the springs s1 and s2 be x1 and x2. Let the tension in the spring s2 is equal to t. Then, the tension in the spring S1 is equal to 2T. Therefore, we have KX1 is equal to 2T and KX2 is equal to T, which gives X1 is equal to 2T by K and X2 is equal to T by K. When the spring S1 expands by X1, the pulley moves down by X1. Therefore, slack produced is equal to 2X1. Also, spring S2 expands by X2. Therefore, the block moves down by 2x1 plus x2. Therefore, we write x is equal to 2x1 plus x2. Putting the values of x1 and x2, we get x is equal to 4t by k plus t by k is equal to 5t by k, which gives t is equal to kx by 5. When released, the restoring force on the block is equal to tension in the spring s2 which gives f is equal to t, which is equal to kx by 5. Therefore, acceleration of the block is a is equal to f by m, which is equal to kx by 5m. And time period of oscillations is t is equal to 2 pi root over x by a, which is equal to 2 pi root over 5m by k, which completes the answer to the question.